Hello, welcome back to my channel and another month of 10 on the 10th, hosted by Kim of Metal Scrap and Chick, where we make Christmas cards, 10 more or less, every month to be ready for the season. And today I want to show you what I made. On my Crafted Goals video, I did say that I was going to use leftover Stampin' Up! paper that I had. This is an older set. And I also had a bag of die cuts sitting in my 12 by 12 container of Christmas scraps. So this is my first one. The Tis the Seasons are Sparkle. This sentiment is from a Queen and Company set. And my bell, little red bow, and all of the embossed mats that you see. Um, I did that with my ornaments. And then this is a Jolie little stocking embellishment. I had this one, just one done with, put, I put the, uh, the lights on. I had intended to do more last year, but time got away from me. So I had the one all done. So I went ahead and used it. I put the stockings on, I put the tree boughs. And then I put this little poinsettia that I had left over in place of the fire. This little tree is from Dozens of Paper Cuts on Etsy. I think her name is Suzanne. I bought from her a lot. And this is a tag that I bought on Etsy from Alicia of Crazy Paper Chick. And this set that she used for this tag is from Sony Studio. I have that set also. And then this, Merry Christmas, I had this, so I just cut it down. This is from Stampin' Up! And then the paper. This is the banner dies that I was mentioning earlier. And this was from a D stash from Alicia of Crazy Paper Chick. So I use those. Another bell, just the seasons of sparkle, and another stocking. And I wanted to show you the original of these. The idea was that I wanted to emboss on these balls. Now this also, this whole set here, and these as a matter of fact, I bought from Suzanne of dozens of paper cuts. I've had these for years, but I tried to use the dimensional embossing powder and it just wasn't fine enough. And then also um, in my other cards, I, I, I hid this a little bit better within the, the tree boughs. Okay, so what I did here, I used a completely different sentiment and a procedure. I stamped in the garden green and then I used clear embossing powder and then see how I hid the hook. I put this down first and then I laid down the pine bow then I laid the other one on top. And this pattern paper looks like wallpaper which I think is really cute. Same thing here. And then we have another tag. And then I wanted to use the other side of this, and which is the, no, I, I think this is not the reverse of this one. This is another like pine cone looking set, but I wanted to use the music. Okay, and, and this, this, is the tenth one. Oh, hope you didn't see that. That's a surprise. And I used the small scraps here. I used my embossing folder again. I don't know if you could see that. See that? And then one of the tags. And then, even though I was tr I was trying to hide some mistakes here, I think it gave it some interest to to cut it like that. Okay, 
This last one is one of my favorites. I am learning how to use the die. And I think it's turning out pretty good. And some of you commented that you like this kind of card also. So here's my bonus card. My quilt. I used sparkly paper for the frame. And then I backed it with a double-sided sticky tape. Kind of like Christy Marcotte does. And that worked out a whole lot better. And then tis the season to sparkle. I popped this up on dimensionals. And then this piece is embossed with the ornaments folder. This is from Stampendous. I used a piece of post-it tape here. So I, I, I wouldn't get any over here. And there's my stocking. So there we go. 11 cards total this month. Please make sure to see all the other collaborators. Their links are down in my description box. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye-bye.